problem. He pattern matches. He's a winner, generally, a 10x individual. And he's been featured in NPR, and <laughs> CNET called him a disturbed genius. So take that as you will. Uh, please welcome to the stage from Jay Sonify, Paul. All right. Hey, everyone. Uh, thanks. Uh, thanks, Jordan. Um, OK, so Jay Sonify. So first off, I'm Paul. I've been a software developer for a very long time. A few random things that I've done, I built uh, distributed rendering for Google and NASA. I was the co-founder of one of the first commercially available agentic AI companies. And I CTO'd a startup building autonomous drones for industrial work, like cleaning and painting, um, which later went on to be used by the US Army to decontaminate nuclear vehicles. All I could go on, but I'll spare you. You get the idea. I've done a lot of like really fun stuff. But this new venture, this new startup that I'm working on now, this is like a billion times more exciting than like anything else that I've ever done combined. Because I am taking data from the internet and I am turning it into CSV files. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, so that's like that's not very exciting. Uh, but even though it's like it's not that fun compared to you know flying nuclear robots and you know the robot you just saw, frankly, um, this is I think probably like the most useful thing that I've ever built, because having consistent, reliable, up-to-date data, like it's really great, and we rely on it for everything that we do. But collecting it and maintaining it is just is just awful, right? Both manually and automatically. For all the all the investors in the audience, just think about how often you're trying to find data on a specific company or group of companies, or to get bits of information from some document or web page and kind of kind of bodge it into the same spreadsheet as data from something else. It's like, it's terrible, right? Um, but then actually, like, the worst bit is the Sisyphean task of keeping it up to date. Like, it just, it just never ends. As soon as you make the spreadsheet, it's immediately out of date. This is, a, this is a waste of time, and not just my opinion, according to the good people at McKinsey, we spend 9.3 hours per week, on average, searching and gathering information, which is just, like, a colossal waste of time and money. But don't worry, because I fixed it. <laughs> so, okay. JSONify, it's an autonomous browser agent that can locate information on the web and in documents. There's a, a set of AI models which transform what the agent sees to structured, consistent, logical data. And then we sync the data somewhere, somewhere where your company does work, like uh, Airtable or Google Sheets. Uh, there's a whole bunch of just very complicated computer vision, large language models, which we don't have time to go into, but they reliably extract order and structure from the chaos of the internet. Um, take. This on the left, for example, the, uh, the YC startup directory. Um, so investors, they have to refer to pages like this all the time, right? And they're, and they're constantly changing. But they're not like, in the form of the web page, they're not in a good format to use. And so JSONify, it changes it into what's on the right, a spreadsheet with data that's easy to use, transform, and update. And so from there, we just we synchronize it over to Google Sheets or Airtable or HubSpot or wherever it is that your business does work. And we do it automatically with no human intervention. All I did was just give it the page and say, hey, turn that into a spreadsheet. And then we, uh, then we keep it up to date for you whenever the page behind it changes, so it's never outdated. And we do it in the cloud thousands, hundreds of thousands of times at scale. OK, well, hey, that sounds, uh, sounds interesting. Let's, uh, let's fire it up. Let's, let's do a demo. Um, OK, cool. So this is the JSONify dashboard. and so. We're going to send an AI agent out to a page I hope everyone in this room is very familiar with, the Betaworks cohort page. And so we're sending now an AI browser, an AI agent, out to this page, which is going to look at it and take a directive from me to tell me, you know, I'm going to give it basically an instruction to say, this is the sort of information that I want. So this is interactive. But I'm just going to say here, I want uh, info on AI companies. OK, cool. Let's extract links and images. Let's go. OK, so this is now using that very complicated set of large language computer vision stuff that I talked about before. It's looking at the page. It can understand it. It can say, hey, there's information here. But then, crucially, there's a whole bunch of links here, links out to the landing pages. And so now it's going to go through all of these landing pages. And it's going to look at each of these pages, and it's going to extract useful information from each one, in turn, automatically. And so, you know, for anyone who knows computer vision, this left to right thing, this is not, you know, this is just for the purposes of making it look cool, but it does, uh, it does make a nice demo. Hey, there's us. Um, and so, resolved. And so, this is turning it into a spreadsheet behind the scenes. And so, in a moment, HDR, I suspect, is the last one on the list. Um, okay, cool. And so now, we're finalizing the list, and we should see, in a moment, 
Hey, ta-da. Look at that. It's a spreadsheet. Hey, got him. Um, <laughs> that, is, that is the first time a spreadsheet has ever gotten applause. Um, and so we can also see raw JSON uh, data. You don't need to clap for that. But it's very easy to get into, uh, into any sort of automated system you might want. Um, OK, cool. So let's, let's go on. Let's, uh, so we can do two things here. We can monitor. So say when there was a new company or a company changes description or logo or whatever, we get a notification. Or we can extract. So let's make an extraction workflow. And so here, we can see the workflow editor inside JSONify. And so we can say every 24 hours, open this page, extract data in this, uh, in this format, and then return JSON data for downloads. So we can add a new output. We're going to send this over to a Google Sheet. Cool. And then we can also add more pages. And so the real power of this platform, because all I did before was say, hey, I want a list of AI companies and their information. So I can add other things, other pages which have lists of AI companies. I can add in the YC startup directory, and I can add in Crunchbase. Um, and I can add in thousands, tens of thousands more pages if you want. And it's going to do that automatically, extracting the same structure of information from each and send it over to my Google Sheet. And that's, uh, and that's JSONify. So, OK. I mean, super fun, right? Well, OK, fine. Maybe not like fun, but incredibly useful. And uh, luckily for me and my company, I am not the only one who thinks that this sort of thing is incredibly useful. Because our customers are using JSONify right now to do real things with data that deliver real value. At the top of these slides, I, I said something to the effect of everyone relies on reliable data. And we've really found that to be true. Because in practically every industry, our customers have found uses for the JSONify platform in ways that, frankly, I would never have thought of. And it's worth pointing out, we've seen excellent uptake of the paid tiers. Average revenue per paying customer is about 171 per month. And in fact, I launched this thing, actually pre-Betaworks, pre-before I'd even heard of Betaworks, frankly, back in November 23, with a budget of about $14. And so you can actually see there on the graph an inflection point in February when I joined the, uh, the Accelerator. And we kind of really kicked things into high gear, and I scaled up team and product. We're on track now to do half a million requests through the platform in May. It takes us over a million total. And over a billion tokens run through the AI models. The raw numbers, you know, they're, they're pretty neat. But I think this slide is probably my favorite one, because this tells the most compelling story. These are my favorite users, the ones who looked at what JSONify could do and realized this enables like whole new things, which have been impossible to do before it, and started brand new startups on the platform. It's really just incredibly rewarding to see what people are able to do and imagine and build once they see the ability of what the platform can do. And so what's, um, what's the big play here? So we're, we're pretty good right now at turning websites into data. But we really want to do more. Because if you're anything like me, you have a Dropbox or an iCloud just full of junk. And there's great data in there, right, if we pull it out. Or oh, for the investors in the room, imagine, uh, imagine if all the pitch decks you get every day magically went into a JSONified data pipeline and they'd be understood by the AI, data extracted, and they'd show up in your air table as if by magic. You know, wouldn't that save you a ton of time? And so we're adding more sources, more data outputs like Salesforce and HubSpot, more notifications, and better developer tooling so people can keep building amazing things on top of our data backend. Uh, so you're, you're probably thinking now, wow, that, uh, that really sounds like a ton of work, right? Um, yes, you would not be wrong. Uh, but luckily, I have a top tier team by my side. Um, we don't have time to go through them all here. But suffice it to say, we're all excellent. Um, I, yes. <laughs> Uh, I've, been, uh, I've been building and scaling technical talent for many years, and I think this is arguably the strongest early stage startup team that I've ever put together with an amazing collection of skills. And so that's it. We're going to end with the traditional ask for money. Um, we are raising two mil to scale team and product over the next 18 months. And so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, or well, if you've got a ton of data and need help organizing it, um, I'd love to discuss more. Let me know. Thank you.